Hey, welcome back. I'm your instructor, Alex Oliveira. In this lesson, we are going to help you use our lead gen checklist to score your strategy. And what we mean by that is that we're going to go through all of the different components and elements that you have learned in all the previous lessons so that when you're ready to put that strategy to work, you can go through this checklist and make sure that you have everything ready. And, and the goal is to convert more leads. And this lead gen checklist I've used for over a decade on all of our lead generation campaigns for Fortune 500s and small businesses. And it's just a prep list and you're gonna give yourself a score. We're gonna give you the template and it will really help you. So here we go. All right, so the, uh, the objective is to explore the best ways to enhance your website, your landing pages, because this is where the magic happens. You have heard me say it time and time again that if you want long-term sustainable growth from online marketing, lead generation, digital marketing, then you need to pay close attention to your owned media channels. That is your website, your email marketing, and anything that you have full control of. It's the own media, right? And it really starts with your website and the content that's there. From attention grabbing copy to great web design and useful content, the checklist includes it all. All right, so let's start a little refresher on the lead generation framework. We know the brand, right? And the company story, it, it needs to be clear and compelling. You need to understand your current audience and your prospect audience to market to. The purpose, which is your objective for the campaigns, need to be written out. Planning needs to include the campaign's team members, the time frame, and the budget details. The campaign channels and the advertising platforms that have chosen need to be written out and you need to have logins and you need to be ready with payment information all set up and we've given you the tutorials for that as well. Analytics to track and measure user activity and events on your website and landing pages. It's so huge. It's why I highlighted measure here. If you do everything else right, but you are not measuring performance, the analytics is a key piece of your success. And then last but not least, be clear on the strategies to optimize your campaigns, which includes lead nurturing. And we'll talk about that, right? All right. Also, the lead generation digital ecosystem that we uh, talked to you about earlier, which starts from everything from the customer, the landing pages, and the different channels that you can advertise in. So let's go to the checklist for landing pages. And what you're going to do, you're going to give yourself a score, one point for each one of these check signs, one point for each check signs. And then you'll see what, what kind of a score you can get. And we'll give you a, a table so that you can actually calculate the score. Okay. So here are the things, your logo, the phone number on the header, writing a great headline, great call to action, use plenty of bullets entice the readers to respond to your offer, feature relevant visuals, include a short form to capture leads. Make sure you do this. Edit for typos and nothing worse than grammatical mistakes, really. For, for many users, they will never come back to your website. The font needs to be easy to read. Don't be tempted to do something so cool that no one can actually read. Add testimonial or trust factors like your reviews. Display the thank you um, message or thank you page pointing them to the related offer. The website speed, we gave you the tools so that you can actually figure out what your speed is at. You need to be at over 80% for mobile and desktop. Then you need to make sure that the website and landing pages have the secure SSL certificate. We need to make sure that you have tracking and analytics in place and that it works and you have access to it. And then you need to add the privacy policy in terms of use in the footer. Here's the checklist for your content strategy. It's everything from your target audience to the type of, of, of lead magnet that you want to make available to your clients. Uh, you need to address those pain points. You need to use different formats to engage. Uh, so try to figure out what type of content strategy you want to use, both for the inbound, but also for your drip campaigns. Content strategy really touches so many areas of your lead generation and your customer journey right? When you're looking at the website, you're thinking of content. When you're thinking of different channels to do ads in or do SEO, you're thinking of content. 
when you're thinking of doing an email automation campaign, you're writing content, right? If you're going to do videos, you're thinking of content. So that content strategy needs to be real important. And one of the things that you really need to pay attention to is creating an editorial calendar. Creating that habit will absolutely help you stay consistent. So make sure you create an editorial calendar. Very important that you do that for all the different types of content. Email automation, we share that with you as well. Again, you're giving yourself a score, just one point for each one of these. Again, the, the messages, you need to decide on lead nurturing, um, what, you know, segmenting the different leads by type of offer and connecting them to each, each campaign and list and making sure that you have remarketing campaigns set up. So email automation, it really is not very long list, but again, it's something that you have to think about when you're using your email service provider. You're obviously going to go through your list, the subscribers, the, the all the different tools that are in there, and then just create some sequences. Don't complicate it too much and, and perhaps use a workflow that goes out no more than three months. So you nurture that lead. You may send out to a prospective buyer um, a series of 15 emails over the course of six months, and that's okay. And in those emails, after all, with automation, we're talking about constantly feeding them different pieces of content based on their needs, based on their demands, right? And then as they engage with your website and email, there are triggers that will activate based on their engagement. So then you create different paths for that as well. So we did go over that in the email marketing lesson. And then your lead magnet, obviously it's everything from your podcast, if that's what you choose to do, or videos or case studies, webinars, blogs, newsletter, eBooks, what you do on social media, FAQs, guides, white papers. There's so many different types of lead magnets that you can use, but ultimately it needs to solve a real problem for your audience, right? Uh, you need to help them achieve something quickly. It needs to be free. That's very important. I know it seems like a lot to have to create so much content for free, but um, it's, it's really important because your competitors are creating content all the time. So, and then you really need to make sure that it's easily accessible for everyone. Um, don't make them go on a big goose chase and download different things and go here and go there and create a login. Just make it simple. If they give you their email, no problem. You you share that lead magnet with them, right? So it's it's got to be really valuable. And as you nurture that and the user, the prospect feels like, okay, I'm getting something of value. They're going to be open to that conversation, right? Now, the, the, the content needs to be valuable as well. And by valuable, I mean really high quality and different than anything that's online, right? So make sure you do your due diligence and research what the competition is doing because you don't want to duplicate or underdo it, right? So uh, this Gartner Digital Marketing Transit Map, when I'm looking at the, the checklist for lead gen campaigns, this right here can be very off-putting, right? Gartner created this and it really complicates things a lot. When you look at everything from social to analytics, to ad tech, it's almost like a, a you know, a, a very complicated subway system. And they're trying to demonstrate using this analogy, um, what's, you know, how, how complicated um, digital marketing is, but the truth is it's not that complicated, you know? So you could, you see up here, we go from search engines to the creatives to SEO and SEM and social. I mean, it's really complicated here. And so there's no way that the average business owner is going to spend time trying to get to know each one of these uh, channels. No way. It just would take you too long to understand. Even even these Fortune 500 companies don't have every single one of these um, points addressed. So yes, you, you, you do not have to worry about it. There's no way that this is what it's going to look like. It more looks like this for a lot of small businesses. Listen, you've got the checklist. You know exactly the things that you need. You're going to score it. And then you need to figure out how are you going to drive traffic. 
you know, search engine marketing, which includes paid search and SEO, social media marketing, affiliate marketing, inbound marketing, email marketing, influencer marketing. Those are your basic ones, your basic channels digitally online to generate leads. That's it. We don't have to look at a map like this. And, and for a small business, you're not looking at mobile ad networks and, uh, you know, TV. And uh, there's so many things that for the big brands, yes, it matters because they're competing on obviously on a much bigger stage, bigger budget. But for small businesses, this is not the case at all. So not to worry about that. So figure out the traffic channels you're going to do and then go into lead nurturing. We've talked in depth about lead nurturing, lead qualification, lead scoring. So I won't hammer too much in this one other than to say that it's about educating, informing, engaging, and then converting your 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 prospects and leads into a, a paying customer. And you do that by creating a lead nurturing st strategy. So set those objectives and goals for each each and every communication piece that goes out, look at this checklist, and then just make sure that you evaluate your success and optimize accordingly, right? So the lead gen, lead gen checklist uh, lesson exercise, what I'd love for you to do is just simply download the template, use the checklist to score your campaign. And then if you score low on any areas, you, you may not be ready to launch your campaign, in which case I want you to come back to our community here. I want you to email us, our support team, and we're going to get with you one-on-one -on -one or in the group. And, and then what we're going to do is figure out what, what areas of the lead gen checklist maybe you didn't address. 100%. Okay. So, um, I hope this has helped you definitely use the checklist and I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson. Thank you. Bye.